I just realized Paper Mario is 15 years old. Oh, it has held up ever since. Hey guys, Colorful Artie's back for more Paper Mario. We're in the middle of Mount Lava Lava, and I am so excited to keep playing this. Alright, so first we're gonna ride down here and drop. And we get the Fire Shield Badge! Makes the damage Mario takes from fire attacks go down by one. It also lets you jump on fire enemies with your jump without taking damage. So, that could be useful. I don't think I'm equipping it, at least not yet. Maybe for the boss, but... For the common enemies, no. Actually, it comes to think of it, Mario is not a good partner for this area. Niver's para carry, but I need him for this room. So, as you can probably guess, we're getting a better hammer in this area, because there are the iron blocks everywhere. So, this is one of the puzzles in the dungeon that I really like. It's very creative and cool. Not like how to solve it, but like what it does. It doesn't just make a bridge across the lava, but you're gonna see. We've now plugged up the lava fall. Oh, at least a little bit, so now the lava level goes down down below. Very clever use of the lava. I think that's, I think that's really cool. Then again, I just kind of squee over everything in this area. I don't know why I love this area so much, but it's amazing! <laughs> Alright, time for another pretty cool block puzzle. Make sure you push them one after another, otherwise Paracarry won't be able to carry you across this giant lava river. The graphics in this world are really good, like, they still hold up, which is awesome. Alright. Sushi is alright. Eh, yeah. I'm guessing there will be quite a few lava bubbles here. Oh! Red Benji Koopa. Luckily, I got quick change on. This is a red Manchi Koopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa Clan. Snappy red robes, huh? Max HP 11, attack power 3, defense power 0. He can magically increase the attack power of others. Take care of him before he can pump up his companions. Probably smart. Nice try. What a jerk wad. Take that, Magikoopa! Oh darn! That's a lot of damage. Granted, if he hadn't been powered up by the Magikoopa and I had Fire Shield on, he would have only dealt three damage. But I don't have. And if I had defended, I guess that would have only been two damage, but. Man, when they're so high up in the air, it's hard to get the first strike against them. Oh boy, another white Magic Koopa. Let's kill him before he can heal anybody. Also, this is the part of the game where Star Storm kind of is no longer amazing. Nice try. Also, haven't used Chill Out yet. Not a big fan of that star spirit. Alright. It's time to show what Sushi can do with Squirt. Aw, oh, darn it. Even then! Squirt, at its worst, deals 5 damage against these guys. I went up too high, so the meter was forced to go all the way back down. Alright, we open this chest and... You got the Ultra Hammer, the attack power of Mario's hammer increases! On top of that, you can now destroy metal blocks. Now you can also use the hammer to unearth the hidden panels of star pieces in them. That's also really, really useful. No more going around going wow, wow! Everywhere, you can just you go around swinging your hammer all over the place. So let's start by destroying that one. There always seems to be a bit of lag whenever you destroy an ultra at Bullock. Alright, fly across this river. 
HP. I still have a power block. That, well, that's not going to do a whole lot of good. I don't really have anything that increases HP but not FP, so I guess I'll eat a bland meal. Goodbye, putrid piranha. The bite is hard to defend against. Now my hammer deals 7 damage thanks to all or nothing. Oh, and I'm getting a lot of star points. I love this. And we get the Dizzy Stomp badge. If it works, the enemy Mario jumps on becomes Dizzy. Basically like Sleep Stomp, so... Not terribly useful. don't really know why I'm bothering changing my partners all the time. If I just enter a battle where my partner's not good, I have quick change. By that I mean to a one-up. Of course, well... Gotta use the power block sometime. <laughs> It's not used in any recipes, so... There we go! Hey! Ouch! <laughs> Man, they're not trying to poison me at all in here. I'm kind of surprised. Woot! Alright, time to level up HP. That seems to be the thing I lose the most. And I'm actually not going in that cave, believe it or not, and I love that. My finely honed intu intuition tells me the great discoveries lie just beyond here. But there's this mysterious block in the way. Curses! What to do, old chap? Yes! Excellent! Now, Mario, no time to hang about! Onward to glory! Hmm? Smells like treasure! Treasure, old boy! Make way! I'm going ahead! That seems like a far way to jump. Okay. So, go on this drop right about there. Yes! Whew. And there's another upgrade block. Out of these, let's upgrade Bo. Then I'll do Bombat, then Cooper. Now Bo's at Ultra Rank. Six slaps. And she gets the ability Fan Smack, which basically... What the heck?! What happened?! There was nothing there! Okay then! Well, that was interesting! Where are the coins going to drop? I swear there was nothing there! Oh man, low star points now. He was literally inside the wall. Yeah, so now the hammer can just... Boom. Well, 
That was pretty spectacular. Uh, don't mind me, Mario. Just investigating this floor a bit more closely. You go on ahead. Oh my aching. Yeah, Colorado hurts himself a lot in this dungeon. Oh, this room. More lava platforming? More fire bars, yay. Get back here, lava bubble. Yeah. And, of course, if she's at ultra rank. Which really, like, sushi in this area as at ultra rank is very useful, but afterwards, like, you're probably not going to use sushi in battle again. Just because there aren't really many fire enemies after this area. Fun. I'll show off Tidal Wave here. So you press B, A, and down C is shown, and there, there's really no limit to the amount of times you can do this. So if you're using a tool assisted speedrun, or like, if you're using an emulator and you use the pause and frame advance, like, <sighs> lots of damage can be had. But if you're like me, then you don't really do a great job. Oh man, that, that was actually quite terrible. I don't know. How dare you? <laughs> Eat some hammer. <laughs> wow! I dealt a lot more damage than I thought. Ooh, super true. Yes, please. I will eat that right now. Come on! I'm not sure if this is actually what lava looks like, but dang, it looks cool. Oh yeah, this area. Yeah, I don't think so. Oh yeah. Darn it. Darn it. Alright, we'll do that, and now we can finish this guy off with the hammer. Thank you, all or nothing, for your extra plus one attack power. I just realized I haven't had the Murley spell activate in a while now. I think I'm over leveled now. Probably for defeating Ultra Blooper before I was technically supposed to. Mario, wait, wait one moment! <sighs> According to the information I've gathered, the hidden treasure should be right around here, but I need to go a little farther. Well, the block back. That part's a bit boring. All 
Alright, let's get out of here. Get out of the way, Colorado! Oh man, he looks in agony. Barely nicked me! Oh boy! Oh my poor shell! Ow! Wow, he is, yeah, he's crying tears of pain. That looks very painful. Still rushing ahead. Close, so very close. My treasure hunting senses are going simply mad right now. My intuition tells me it's over here. Thank you. All right. We're basically on the boss now, so... Oh, Fire Shield only takes two? Oh, sweet. I guess we could keep Power Quake, then, but I'd rather have... Well, Power Bounce would kind of take all the fun out of it, though. Yeah, I won't equip Power Bounce. I'll go equip... something else. Alright, fine, I'll equip power mounts, but I won't use it, I don't think. We're gonna want Goombario. Ooh, Super Shroom. And Maple Syrup. Oh, huh? This seems to be nothing. Alas, even my finely honed intuition can be wrong on occasion. I shall not give up. Let's head back the other way. Perhaps the treasure is a bit deeper down in the volcano. This boss is easily one of my favorite bosses, like, ever. Mario still approaching! Identified as searching for Star Spirit! Code red, report to boss. Alert, alert. I love the ominous build up here. Oh yeah, awesome boss, awesome design. Blech, yuck, 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 you made it Mario. You guys, bad guys, bad guys come to steal Star Spirit. Bad guys who come to steal Star, Star Spirits get hurt. We won't let it happen, no. We trap Star Spirit, we get this volcano. Volcano is ours, good deal. We make things hot for you, we beat you Mario. Welcome to the boss fight against the Lava Piranha. This is a lava bud. Lava buds are little flowers branching out from the main stem of the lava piranha. They love it in the lava. Hey, if this were, if you were a fiery plant, you'd love it in there too. Max HP 8 at defense power 0. They blow small seeds or other projectiles to attack. The small lava buds attack power is 4. This is why we equip fire shield. Ooh. Also, I love the music for this fight. So you want to crumble the lava buds first so they don't attack. Because they tend to deal a lot of damage. This is a Lava Piranha. Lava Piranhas are plants that can somehow survive in lava. Max HP 40, attack power 5, defense power 0. They blow out huge balls of fire to attack. That is one big flower! Wow! That one's actually fairly easy to defend against, which is interesting. Gotta keep up my HP.
<laughs> all right, you. Oh, that is all or nothing if you don't get the action command right. Ow. Uh. All right, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> we also have not used like any FP at all. Let's get to sushi and squirt him. Haha. <laughs> Squirt him in the eye. Alright, goodbye, Lava Piranha. I love you. Not over yet. Fight's just begun. And now the music gets more hectic. I love it. Yeah, this is where I really like the Lava Piranha. Also, why is he now caught on fire if he lives in lava anyways? I don't know. Alright. Let's eat us a maple super. I think I will charge. Mario, you shan't fight alone! Colorado to the rescue! hi -ya! Ow, ow, ow! Hot! Oh, it burns! Really? So sorry, old chap, but that's all I can do at the moment. Good luck with all this! <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, now he's a lot more powerful. And this is with Fire Shield on. Alright. This is a Petite Piranha. Petite Piranhas spew from Lava Buds. Max HP 1, Attack Power 6, Defense Power 0. These fiends can do some serious damage, so watch it. And this, my friends, is where the Snowman Doll really shines. Crumbles him up. Also, even if you get the Lava Buds HP to zero in this fight, they'll just come back. Blah. Let's just chill out. This is probably the only time I'll use it. Oh, mine is free? Oh, that's actually pretty good. Maybe I should use it more often. This is why we only really need two snowman dolls, also. <laughs> Ooh. Poor guy. <laughs> Alright, second snowman doll, go. Jingle, 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 all the way. Let's finish with style, shall we? Much better. Goodbye, Lava Parada, my favorite boss. star points. Well, that's that, Ben. And now there's nothing between us and some treasure, eh? Let's go.
course, Colorado doesn't realize that the treasure was friendship all along. Nah, just kidding. That would be lame. The real treasure, this is this limited edition Miss Star trading card. With a holographic profile picture. And it glows in the dark. End of chapter! Venturing deep into the steaming Mount Lava Lava, Mario and friends plucked the Lava Piranha and rescued the fifth star spirit, Miss Star, from a fiery fate. But the treasure Colorado is looking for is yet to be found. Wherever could it be? What's that? Something strange is going on around here. So we actually don't play as Peach just yet. Mario, this way! We must hurry! The treasure doesn't seem to be anywhere around here! Gad, where could it be? This doesn't look good. Aha! Treasure! Uh, no, it's... some sort of starfish? Hmm, this won't do. This adventure is never over until the treasure's found. Ah, yes, of course! Perhaps that horrible fiery monster had it and was hiding it somewhere. Yes, that's it! I'll just run back and check. Huh? Hmm? What's this trembling, then? Probably nothing. Kids with fireworks, no doubt. Now, after that treasure... No, wait! Yeah, hot, so hot! Th that's lava, isn't it? It's coming near. We must flee. N no, the treasure's still here. I just know it. Mario, this volcano is going to erupt any time now. It's far too dangerous to go back the way you came. We have to escape another way. This is probably the most epic part of the game here, by the way. I feel a slight wind coming from this cracked wall. There could be a room beyond. Mario, can you blow up the wall? I can't, but Bombette can. Mario, hurry! The lava's getting higher! Ah! I knew it! At last, the treasure's right there! So close! Can't resist! By the stars, I'll risk my life for that treasure! My treasure! No! That is an awesome escape. Goosebumps every time. And the treasure survived. Well, I think we've got time for a little more. We could do the peach part. Oh, I love this peach part. The last two peach... Actually, every peach part in this, I just realized, is awesome. Hey, Twink, how would you feel about sneaking out of here again? Shall we try? Princess Peach, you've gotten so bold. And here I thought you were gentle and delicate. Oh, I... I am delicate. I'm behaving like a delicate princess, just like the ministers taught me to. I love to be delicate. Okay, okay, I believe you, Peach. You're the princess. Anyway, let's go for it. Oh, yeah. Alright, time to sneak downstairs again. See that door on the wall over there? That's where we're going. Okay. Turn around, how don't you? Later, Koopa Troll. Oh, 
Oh, it's Princess Peach! How'd she get out? King Bowser's really gonna flip his wig if we don't take her back to her room. Now, hang on just a second. Get a grip on yourself, okay? No need to panic. She can't get out of the castle anyway. And besides, what do you think about asking Princess Peach to participate in our little game? She'd be ideal, and we need a third person. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, you might be onto something. Okay, let's do it. Princess Peach, have you been listening? Come this way. We won't tell King Bowser about your escape if you help us with this little game we're playing. We're set up right over there. <laughs> I love how the guards... Oh no, Princess Peach! I love how the guards are making up games to pass the time while Bowser's taking over the world. Koopa Corpse presents the 64th Trivia Quiz Off! I'm your host, Mr. Hammer! <laughs> Peach is very confused. They got a game show going on here. Let's get right to it, hey? I'm gonna ask you ten questions, and the contestant who gets the most right is our winner. Press A when you think you know the answer, okay, folks? The winner will get a gorgeous, fabulous prize. Good luck to all of you. Oh, and I gotta tell you, we're also giving prizes just for participating, so everyone will be a winner. That's just the kind of show we are. Ready? Question one. What's the name of the boss inside the volcano on Mount Lava Lava Island? All right, Princess Peach. That would be Lava Piranha. That's correct! Let's get on to the next question, okay, folks? Question two. Where did Master Huff and Puff imprison the Star Spirit? All right, Spiky Tom! In flower fields! That's correct! Okay, next. Question three. What is the name of the scary round monster living in dry dry ruins? All right, Princess Peach! That would be Chomp. That's correct! You've still got a chance to make a comeback! Question four. How would you get to flower fields? All right, Spiky Tom! Um, by passing through the flower gate. That's correct! It's still anyone's game. Question five. What's the name of the person who King Bowser really loves? All right, Princess Peach. That would be Kami Koopa. I'm sorry, he that's wrong. Bowser does not have a, a crush on Kami Koopa. The correct answer was Princess Peach. Ah, oh, darn it. Careful now. Question six. What fane is most deeply related to flower fields? I'm gonna go on a whim and say flowers. <laughs> That's correct! How did you know? The next question is an easy one, folks. Question seven. What's the name of the most admirable, invincible, just downright cool guy around? All right, Princess Peach! That would be Mario. I'm sorry, that's wrong. The correct answer was King Bowser, even though we all know the Koopa Rose are cooler. Think carefully now. Question eight. What's the name of the ghosts who live in and around Forever Forest? All right, Spiky John. Booze, booze. That's correct. Use your memory on this one. Question nine. What's the name of the area just to the south of the post office in Toad Town? All right, Princess Peach. That would be the Flower Garden. That's correct. Now for the final question. Stay calm, everyone. Question 10. Where is Peach's castle now? Alright, Princess Peach. On Bowser's castle. That's correct! So the 64th Trivia Quiz Off has ended in great success. The winner is, wow, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach. Congratulations, Peach. Here's your prize. We get jam and jelly! Thank you for coming, everyone! It's been grand! We'll see you at the next Trivia Quiz Off! Good game. It was nice of them to invite me. Oh, Princess Peach, I almost forgot! Here's your prize for participating! I get one, too. You got the Sneaky Paracel, a fabulous Paracel given to quiz show participants. This is a Sneaky Paracel. If you face someone and press B, you can transform into that person. You just have to promise not to use it to sneak around. I mean, nobody would know you were Princess Peach. Imagine. Sorry for giving you such a little prize, Princess. That's awesome! <laughs> hey, it's only a prize for participating, so what do you expect? Oh, boy. Huh? What are you all doing? Hey, it looks like fun. I'm gonna join in. Ah, oh, I wish Bowser could join in for that one. What? You've already finished? Aw, oh, of all the rotten luck. Gah! Princess Peach, what's she doing here? She sneaked out again! Grr. 
You, take Princess Peach back to her room, now! Yes, sir. Sorry, Princess Peach. No! The Hammer Bros seems like a nice guy. Look at that depressed look on Colorado's face. Oh, woe is me, my beautiful treasure. Listen to you! No treasure in the world is more valuable than life. Be thankful you escaped! To think, this island was put in terrible peril because of the meddling of Bowser's men. I think it will work out okay. The eruption will subside and Wava Wava Island will be just the same as it used to be. But... <sighs> Dear Mario, you have saved five of us star spirits now. Just a few more to go. My name is Miss Star. Let me grant you power that will help you along. Mario's star energy goes up to five. Mario can now use Smooch, a new star spirit power. With Smooch, you can restore Mario's HP. 20 HP. I have to go back to Star Haven for now, but if you need me, please call on me at any time. I'll be watching you and wishing for your success. I know you'll see the princess soon enough, Mario. Have faith. Thank you again for saving me. See you soon. Oh, I was so close. The treasure, right there. And then to get saved and yelled at by some sort of bloomin' great starfish. He looks so dejected. But, man, he apparently really, really picked up the speed as soon as he left the screen. Alright, we're gonna leave the episode off there. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorfarty. Tune in for the next part. I don't even know what we're gonna do just yet. Have a great day, and God bless.